One thing I've always wanted to find while I've gone rock hounding is genuine meteorites. Now, unfortunately, I am not even close to an expert on what these would look like. And what made me even more curious is what could possibly be inside if I were to cut a meteorite open. So I decided to reach out to Meteors for Sale to see if I could buy some genuine meteorites. They sent over a bunch of meteorites for us to look at and cut open today. And I am so excited because I have never even held or seen a meteorite in real life, at least that I've known of. So let's take a look and cut them open. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. I love the packaging. These little boxes are super cute. And let's see what's inside. So it's a Mong Nong Tektite. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have never like held a real meteorite in my hand before. All right, ready? Whoa! Oh my goodness, that is really cool. Honestly, looks like what I think a meteorite would look like. Oh, <laughs> so cool. Let's go cut this one open and see what's inside. Okay, we're back inside. Let's see what this first one looks like inside. Ooh, whoa. Oh my goodness, look at the tiny little dots in there. This looks like a starry sky. That is so cool. I am so glad that that crack did not split the rock. I would have been so sad. Yeah, this one I feel like is kind of what I was expecting. I feel like the inside matches pretty closely to the outside. Huh, that is super cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, this is so cool. Another Mung Nung Tektite. I really hope I'm saying that right. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. I wonder if it's gonna look the same as the first one? Or like, do they look different? I don't really know. Whoa, oh, look at that. It's like, it's got like some shiny pe- And this side, wow. That is so interesting. Okay, this one's cool. It's like multicolored. So I wonder if it's gonna look different inside. Let's go check it out. All right, let's take a look at the second one. Now I'm kind of excited because this one has a bit more color than the first one. So I'm hoping the inside looks really interesting. Let's see. Oh my goodness, the outside of that is just really cool looking on that side. Let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> What? That is so cool. You cannot tell me that that does not look like space. That is a really cool look at it. It's like little galaxies in there. And look at that part. It kind of rubs off on my finger too, which is interesting. So whatever that is, it's definitely a softer material than the black part. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the next one. And we're on to the next one here. Let's see what this one looks like inside. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay, this is a different one. Northwest Africa meteorite. Ooh, that's cool. This one feels pretty heavy. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> wow, look at that side. See, I gotta learn how to identify meteorites, because like, I feel like if I saw this, I would just think, oh, it's just, just a regular rock. That is really cool. It's interesting that like, is that the scorch marks from it like falling? I don't know. That's so crazy that this was just chilling in space. Like this is not from our earth. I'm holding something that has been in space. Who knows, maybe uh, an alien rode on it. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's get this one cut open. Okay, this is our Northwest Africa meteorite, and this one looks different and is a lot heavier than the first two that we cut open, so I'm curious to see what's inside. I wasn't sure how to cut this one because I was worried if I cut it this long way, there was a lot of little cracks and that it would break. So I did end up cutting it this way. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those tiny little sparkles in there. Oh, wow. That looks like silver. Is there mica in space? Like it almost looks like mica. Or what if it really is silver? 
That would be so cool. <laughs> Look at those tiny little flecks. See that shining? Wow. Okay, that is not what I expected at all. Look at, and it's like you can't even tell looking at the outside. That's gonna have all that. That is beautiful. I am super surprised by this one. I was not expecting that at all. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, on to number four. Let's see what's inside this one. This one seems a little bit lighter. So another Northwest Africa meteorite. I wonder if this one's gonna look similar to that other one. The first ones we did, those looked kind of different. So that's cool. Wow, yeah, I would say this one looks pretty similar to that first one. Okay, let's go cut it open. Okay, next up we have this tiny little heart one. I was really worried cutting this one open too because I wanted to keep that like heart shape. So as you can see, I did, I tried to make it as even as I could, but like this side is definitely smaller than this side, but oh well, let's see what's inside. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay. Oh, actually, that is a lot more colorful than I thought. You know, this one almost reminds me of like an oodolitic jasper. It's kind of interesting. Wow, if you look close, there is actually a lot of color on that. Huh, that one is pretty cool. Let's look at the next one. All right, let's see what we have inside. Ooh, okay, another Mong Nong Tektite. I really hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. And let's see. <laughs> that is so cool looking. That shiny bit right there. I wonder how it forms like that. This one I feel like hmm, we might have to cut it like this and hopefully it doesn't break apart because it does have like a big kind of hole right there. Let's go check it out. Okay, this next one is another Mung Nong Tech Tight. <laughs> and it's got a little bit of that color again. So I hope that there's something cool inside. Let's see. And again, I tried to cut this one evenly. It looks pretty even on that side, but then you flip it over and it's not super even. Uh, but I tried my best. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh, that is really cool. Again, this brown stuff, it's like rubbing off on my fingers. So I don't know what it is. I'm trying to be careful with it. I'm gonna get this a little more wet. Okay, I tried to rinse it off a little bit here. That is so cool. It looks like the stars. Like it literally looks like a starry sky. And then I have no idea what that is, that orange. <laughs> This one is so cool. Wow. That is so wild that this thing was just chilling in space. And now it is in my hands and we can see what's inside it after millions of years. That's so crazy. <laughs> okay, the last one. Let's see what we got. Okay, this one is the Northwest Africa meteorite. Now let's look at it. <laughs> Ooh, this one is really heavy. Like it's not, I mean, it is super big for a meteorite, but like, it's just so heavy for being so small. This one's definitely like the smoothest one. Okay. Ooh, for some reason I've got a really good feeling about this one. Let's cut it open and see what's inside. All right, last but not least, we have this little guy left. I'm so excited. I don't know why, but I just have a good feeling about this one. Let's see what's inside. I don't know why, but I just really like this one. I feel like it looks so meteor-like. All right, let's see. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that silver on there. That is so pretty. Oh, okay. Do you see that flash? You've got to be kidding me. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. What? And like the outside, it doesn't even, it doesn't look, how? How? Someone has to tell me, is that like real silver? That looks like real silver. Like that does not look like mica. I love this. I love it. This was so fun. <laughs> 
So one thing Paul and Jim told me was that these meteorites need to be almost like cooked in the oven, basically just to dry them out really well, because if you get them wet, they actually have a chance of rusting, which is really interesting. Thank you so much again to Jim and Paul from Meteorites for Sale for sending over these meteorites for us to cut open. And if you are interested in buying your very own meteorite, go ahead and check them out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!